I'm glad to have you weigh in here as we put 2022 in the books. And now I want to quote you, right? You said this may be the most anticipated recession in history, and yet it may not happen. So weigh in here. What do you think? Yeah, it, you know, it's not impossible that Goldman Sachs is right and that the Fed does manage to engineer a soft landing. I just think it's also not very likely. If you think about it, rates in the U.S. were 0% at the beginning of this year. So there's been an incredibly aggressive uh, rate tightening cycle. There are a bunch of economic indicators suggesting that we're not only slowing down, we are heading towards a recession. So if you look at the survey data, confidence data, PMI data, if you look at the yield curve, it's deeply inverted. That all suggests, suggests the recession's coming. What's held up really well is consumption, and consumption accounts for about 70% of our growth in the U.S., uh, and that's partly because there's a huge cash cushion among consumers and among corporates. It's also because the labor market has held up really well. And so the Fed is really hoping that what will happen is they'll whittle down job openings and that the labor market won't deteriorate that much and we can avoid a recession. Um, if you look at the data uh, around past recessions, though, that's a great theory. It's just literally never happened before. So I think if we do get a deterioration in the labor market, people will really pull back on that spending. And that's when a recession will hit. I think probably sometime around the middle in the second half of next year. Yeah, it's those unpredictable things that we thought we knew the script here and then the economy doesn't follow it. I want to ask you a really crucial question, though. Is it possible for the Fed to hit its inflation target without a recession? Yeah, it's possible. It's just very unlikely. If you look at the history of Fed rate hiking cycles, they've managed to achieve a soft landing, I think, twice ever in history. Um, so it's really unlikely. Generally, the Fed pitches the economy into a recession. It's because monetary policy kicks in with such incredible lags. Uh, and they're really blunt tools that the Fed has to work with. So it's really hard to engineer a so-called soft landing while hitting the inflation target of around 2% perfectly. Um, and it makes it really unlikely that the Fed's going to pull this off. Yeah, especially because Jay Powell has been categorical, right? He's looking at the data and he wants that inflation number to get to where he wants it to be, and he will not take any compromise on it. I want to move to Europe. We were just talking about the FT survey saying that 90 percent, right, of economists are saying, look, there's going to be a recession in Europe in 2023. So if we accept that, it seems what's more worrying now is a protracted recession, maybe even going to 2024. I mean, what do you see when you see that European economy? Yeah, I think much of Europe is probably already in the beginning of a recession. We know that the UK almost certainly is. Germany and Italy are probably also already in contraction. Um, the hope is that it's a short and shallow recession. But Europe is disproportionately hit by the war in Ukraine. Energy costs are much higher in Europe than they are in the US. The cost of living crisis is even higher. Uh, a lot of economies in Europe are over leveraged already, so don't have that much room to intervene and protect the vulnerable in society. Um, and the banks, I think, are, are in a weaker state in Europe than in the US. So there is a risk that you end up seeing financial market blowouts as the ECB and the Bank of England are withdrawing accommodation. And then you risk getting a financial crisis on top of a, a plain vanilla recession. And that would make the recession a lot deeper and a lot longer. So it's not impossible that will happen. It's not my base case either. I think what we probably will see is a shorter, shallower recession this time around than what we've seen in the past. But there are, of course, risks that it could be longer and deeper. Sounds good. Noted. We'll vote. We'll put you down as a little bit more optimistic in that category for 2023 as well. And happy new year uh, to you and experience.